Hi there guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to build a rig. I have, I've been doing some serious CAD work here on my, uh, my field notes. The, the designs that are in these little books that I have. I, I got a ton of them. So we're gonna cut some Unistrut here and we're gonna make a badass camera mount, teleprompter mount, the whole nine with some rack space below it because there's gonna be a computer for the teleprompter. Just, oh, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be neat. We're gonna make a thing. So let's, let's make a thing. I gotta grab a piece of Unistrut. These two should match. <laughs> These two match. Fuck. I'm an engineer. Okay. We got two 44s. We need another 44. All right, that's all the pieces. So we have three 44s, 124, and a uh, 27. I can put my file away now. I can go back in the file cabinet. I'm gonna set it over here though, because I might need it again. All right, guys, so there's the first piece. It's big, it's ugly, it's a little wonkety. It actually sits on three points. I might bring these crossbars up a little bit, but I wanna get it out in position and be able to tweak it. But the way I built this with these as separate pieces instead of just going straight across allows me to take these and bring them up about halfway, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Okay, 18 to the back. It is now completed. We have our initial frame. I know this might look a little weird, but I promise this will make sense in the near future. So now what we gotta do is put the, uh, the teleprompter on it. This is easy and light. It's so simple. Oh Jesus, that's heavy. Okay. Um, the, fuck. Uh, fuck. Uh, okay. And now, and we're moving and we're going through the thing. It's gonna be fine. Oh. Nothing to it. It's easy. Ah, uh. oh. Christ, that's heavy. Okay, oh, look at that. Oh yeah, that's cool. We gotta clean a summer's worth of dust off of it. Okay. Ooh. God, we're cockeyed. Okay. Oh, we'll fix that. Fix that in post. Let's uh, let's get straight on the mount. All right. That's uh, it's a little. We've got our sock on the back. Okay. This is this is getting there. 
Okay, so this is the Sony NX5 XD cam, which has been my go-to camera for years and years now. This, this is like a 10-year-old camera. Probably more than that by now. Let's get into here. We'll want that, and we'll set this right back here. That's our spot, okay. Make sure we get the right hole. That's the one up front. Because if you put it in the back hole, the camera could get unhappy, could mess it up. That's about straight. Just the lightest of tension. Just enough to make sure the camera doesn't fall off the mount and it isn't gonna scoot around. So we'll pull our knickers over. And we're just putting the lens up the tube, nothing else, just the lens. Because I need to be able to access the control panel and you know zoom focus controls all that jazz so we've got just the lens through there we'll open up the screen tilt that back to a comfortable height because for initial setup I got to use that screen then we'll, we'll have it on this pretty quick so that is a camera mounted on the teleprompter I still got to figure out this tilt but there's really no way to adjust tripod and that axis. Hey, you know what would be fucking smart right about now? Let's put a level on it. There you go. Oh, wow. We're out by a mile. Okay. Does this help? Well, that's level. Well, I'm half a bubble better than I was, so we'll figure it out. Contacts on the bottom, so it goes in like this. Okay, fake battery is installed. All right, so let's take a minute and clean the schmoo off of this. Oh yeah! So let's just slide it in gently. Oh my God, it fits like it was made for it or something. Okay, we'll move this cable out of the way for safety. We'll slide our rack right on in, all the way to the back. Boom, oh, wow, look at that. Now, we only need one plug to go all the way up the back of the wall, instead of like three. Let's not hook anything delicate. Okay. Okay, so we've got that working. So first things first, let's get power to the camera. It's officially a classic AV day. I've got my head wedged behind a rack. And HDMI out. That looks about right. Okay, we got everything but a white balance set up and we still gotta figure out, or just a hair cockeyed, but I gotta I can figure that out. That's the beginning. All right guys, so we're into the next day because I spent a very late night with the testing rig, making sure the camera and everything was working and we can indeed have, we have the precursors to live streaming from here. There's still a lot more to go and we're gonna get into that in the next video where we're gonna dig deep into setting up the teleprompter and how it works and all that. But I just wanted to give you a minute to show exactly what we've got so far. We have the main camera mounting rig, that's this assembly, and that mounts the camera and the teleprompter. We've got our blocking monitor sorted. We've got a small half height rack. This is a nice little roll around rig. I've had a couple of these for years. We've got the stand built. It's level, plumb, true, good. Everything's cool and it's stable. It, it's got some weeble to it, but nothing ever touches this. I'm not gonna bother bolting it to the wall or any of that. This is totally freestanding and I can move this around anywhere I want. For this installation though, it's, it's just right here and cool. 
We've got a really crappy old um, quick set from probably 80s vintage um, fluid head on here, which is never going to move. And right now it's sitting pretty wampus. I got to mess with that. But in the next thing, we're going to really dig into the prompter side of things. We've got the teleprompter here. Glass is perfect. It's a really craptacular old VGA monitor, but that's all I need for this. We've got our Sony NX5 here. We got our blocking monitor up here and everything's like 99% cool as far as hardware. I gotta, I gotta tweak this because we're sitting, because this isn't mounted on the original tripod, God knows where that is anymore. Um, it's just mounted on a piece of inch and a quarter pipe. Well, that's a little tiny bit small for this and it's, it sits cockeyed just by a bit and there really isn't anything I can do about that. So what I'm gonna do is build a collar around here that this will actually rest on and that's it's going to be some creative applications of PVC pipe is what I'm thinking but that'll get this where it's sitting level and that's the easy way to fix this just make a sleeve rest it on the sleeve so it'll clamp to the inside and rest on the outside it's complicated but you'll see it soon so I got to run the audio cable, but that's really easy. And it means I get to teach you guys how to use a mouse. So that'll be cool. At this point, once we get the prompter working, which is next episode, we are fundamentally in production. We still don't have the screen lighting totally sorted out. I just got, you know, the rig built um, and we don't have any lighting up here yet at all. So there's, there's no talent lighting. Um, but we'll get there. It's, it's not that big a deal. We're, we're close though. We're really, really close and I'm pretty excited. So that's, that's where we are today and I'll see you guys for the next episode. So have fun and as always, we'll see you next time. Mm.